Oh, listen to those sweet sounds. And let's add custom sounds in the custom block sound group to Minecraft. 121 Minecraft modding course is available down below. With over 11 hours of content covering everything from the basics all the way to block entities and custom mobs. So now we are raw. Fans are back in the once more. And in this tutorial, we're going to be talking about custom sounds. And yes, that was all right backwards uh, because we are talking about the sound sort of uh, tutorial. So I feel like playing a little bit with a sound that feels, you know, it, it feels appropriate, doesn't it? What, regardless though, what we're going to do is we're going to, number one, add a custom sound to our Minecraft mod, and then we'll also add a custom sound block group, basically meaning that we're going to change all of the sounds, this being the step sound, the play sound, the break sound, the hit sound, and the fall sound for our magic block in this case. So that's going to be very interesting indeed. Now for all of this, regardless of what type of sound we wanted to make, the first thing we need to do is in our tutorial mod package, we want to right click new package called sound and so that there we need one new Java class. This is going to be the mod sounds class. And here we need a deferred register to register our sounds. So a public static final deferred register of type sound event. And this is going to be the sound underscore events equal to, of course, can you imagine it? Deferred register dot create built in registries dot sound event tutorial mod mod id and as always of course all of the code is available down below it might be useful in this uh, instance as well and then we have a register method with an i event bus over here where we're going to call the register method like this this is basically the normal way that we have set up these like registration uh, classes a long while now so there you go mod sounds dot register passing in the event bus and there we go now for this, we're going to need a helper method that is just going to help us just a little bit to well, ba basically make this a little bit easier. We're going to have a private static supplier of type sound event. This is going to be the register sound event method over here with a string name parameter. And here we're going to first of all have a resource location. We're going to call this the ID equal to resource location dot from namespace and path tutorial mod dot mod ID and then passing the name. We don't necessarily need to do this, but that's going to be fine. And then we're going to return sound events dot register passing in the name and then a supplier of sound events, sound event dot create variable range passing in the ID. And there we go. That is going to be the register sound event method. And now we can actually register these sounds. Very straightforward, public static final supplier of type sound event. And then this is going to be the chisel underscore use because what we're going to do is we're going to add a sound event that is going to be played when we use the chisel. This is going to be register sound event and then here the name chisel underscore use. Chisel underscore use. Very important we write this correctly. And there we go. And while we're at it, what we're basically going to do is we're immediately going to just add the different sound events over here for the magic block. So this is going to be, of course, as well a supplier of sound events. So I just duplicated the line. And we're going to do this is going to be magic underscore block underscore break. And then here the same thing, magic underscore block underscore break. And we're going to duplicate this four additional times to change this to step. And of course, change the name right here as well. That's very important that you change the name both of the field as well as of the string that we're giving the register sound method. That's going to be the place. And then we're going to have the hit over here, not the jot, but the hit. There you go. And then we're going to have the hit here as well. And then last, but certainly least, I will actually leave actually is the fall because that one is usually not as interesting. But that's going to be fine. It's going to be the fall. And there we go. Having all of those is great. However, we now need to bundle them to actually use them together for a block. And to do that, we're going to have a public static final, a deferred sound type. There you go. It's going to be the magic underscore block underscore sounds equal to a new deferred sound type with a volume of one and a pitch of one. And then we can literally just go through here. We're going to have mod sounds dot and this is going to be the break sound. Then we have mod sound. Then we have mod sound. Then we have mod sounds dot. This is going to be the step sound mod sounds dot. And we have the place sound. This is correct. The order should already be fine. And we're going to have the hit sound. And lastly, mod sounds dot all and there we go just format this just a little bit differently there we go and now we can actually use this as well uh, let's just use all of this so let's just you know put the block sounds in there extremely straightforward in the mod blocks class when you're registering your custom block that should have a different you know sound type literally what you do is on the block behavior properties you just call the sound method and then pass in mod sounds dot magic block sounds that's it 
You can, of course, also use the, ooh, I want to say this is the sound types. Uh, yeah, sound type. And you can see these are the ones from vanilla. But in our case, of course, we want our custom ones because that is a pretty freaking cool. Then when it comes to the chisel item, well, we already actually have a sound that we're playing when we right click this. However, well, we can, of course, change this right. Right now we're using the grindstone use, but no, 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 no. We're going to say mod sounds dot chisel use dot get. And then we actually play that sound. Now, you might say, well, wait a second, what is that sound? Because we have added no sounds yet. And you're absolutely correct. For that, we need to go into the assets folder and create a new directory in the tutorial mod folder. So right click new directory called sound. Sounds, very important. And inside of there, where I'm going to copy over the OGG files. Now, when you have OGG files, of course, these ones are all available to you down below for download. They're all in Creative Commons zero license, so they're basically public domain. And the idea here is that they all have to be always OGG sounds, proper OGG files, right? So don't just, you know, take an MP3 and just rename the ending. It needs to be properly converted to an OGG and it needs to be in mono. It is extremely important that those are in mono. Otherwise, it's going to be interpreted as being played on the entire server. And that is basically not what you want because that's a bad thing. However, this is not everything because in the tutorial mod folder, you also need to create a new file called the sounds.json. It looks very strange, but it is true. And the idea is that inside of here, we're actually going to define each of the sounds. I'm going to write out one and then we're going to copy over the rest because, you know, it's not that it's, it's really not that deep, all things considered. You basically have the name and the name is defined as the name given right here. So chisel underscore use. I'm going to have the chisel underscore use here as a name. And this is going to be a particular object right here. We're going to have some subtitles. So there's going to be subtitle. I'm going to call this sounds dot tutorial mod tutorial mod dot chisel underscore use. This is used obviously when you have a subtitle on then that this is going to be displayed and you can use this to translate it. Should be fairly self-explanatory. Then I'm going to have a sounds list over here and this is going to be tutorial mod tutorial mod colon chisel underscore use. There's a lot of chisel uses over here. What does each of them mean? Like I said, this name right here has to match this name right here. In the sounds, you can, of course, have multiple ones, right? Let's say I would have a chisel underscore one and a chisel underscore two. That would be no issue whatsoever because this is a list and we could have multiple different sound files. The, the sounds right here, the name given here has to match the name given in the sounds of the OGG file. So, of course, in this case, it has to match this one, right? That is the idea. The fact that they're the same, that's just uh, in our case right here, but it doesn't have to be the case. It's very important that you get this, that it doesn't have to be the case that those have to match. It's just this name has to match the name of the sound event. And then the name here has to match the same, the name of the OTG file. Once that is the case, well, then we can actually get the rest of them as well. Let's just copy those over. Let's just make sure that I've done this correctly, but we should be good to go, I believe. And that should be okay. And with the sounds JSON file now, Properly situated, it is situated in the tutorial mods folder right here. We have our sounds, the OGGs files right here. We have everything registered. Now, what we can do is, well, we can jump into the game and hear if it works. All right, fans, we're back in Minecraft. And let's just turn up the freaking volume right here to just listen to a couple of fun sounds. So first of all, the magic block, if we set it down. That is a different sound than we had before. If I break it, there we go. If I go into survival mode and I hit it. That definitely sounds different. And if I were to walk uh, on it. Now, if that is not a magic sound, I don't know what it is. And uh, the fall it basically always uh, only gets cold when you have a uh, survival mode and you fall down. The issue is that you also get the sort of the breaking legs sound. So it, it's going to sound a little bit strange, but let's hear. So there was definitely something in there. It was a little bit of a twang in there. But there you go. The chisel use. That's actually way uh, quieter than I expected, but there you go. Might have to boost the li this a little bit in post, but that's going to be fine. Uh, basically, it is very similar to the grindstone sound, but it is definitely a different sound. I can promise you that. That is not the same sound. You should be familiar with it. But yeah, there you go. That is custom sounds, both for an item as well as, well, in this case, a block added to Minecraft. Awesome. All of the code and everything is, of course, available down below. Well, that's going to be it for this tutorial right here. Next time in this video, we'll add a custom music disc. Hope to see you there. So, yeah.